Hi, my name is Daniel. A bit about me, I was a firefighter for the U.S. Forest Service for five years in Northern California. Towards the end of my firefighting career, I was caught selling stolen guns and I served some time for it. I haven't always been the best person. I've made some unwise choices in my life and I've hurt a lot of people including my friends and family. I'm not here to preach to anyone. With that being said, this video is not about me. It's not about my political views or some kind of ideology. I'm not making this video because I'm some kind of crazy left-wing radical guy. This video is about the facts. In 2018, the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change said we had 12 years to change. They said that in order to avoid the worst effects of climate chaos, we need rapid, far-reaching, and unprecedented changes in all aspects of society. Rapid, far-reaching, and unprecedented changes in all aspects of society. The fact of the matter is, we are deeply fucked. The predicament humanity is in is absolutely dire. By the end of this video, you will understand that global warming is not just something to do with polar bears, or something to do with the Amazon, or something that only affects brown people in poor countries. No, that's a lie. What global warming actually means is the destruction of America in the near term. Here's why. The, the problems caused by global warming are creating fiscal crises. Fiscal crises means the government runs out of money. When the government runs out of money, the poor get the rug pulled out from under them. The academic term for it is social collapse. Others would call it the end of civilization. If you're interested in what social collapse is like, check out Somalia. Check out Afghanistan. Somalia and Afghanistan are just two examples of what happens after fiscal crises. So that's what climate change means. Climate change means America turning into Somalia. It means our kids going to war. So let's briefly go over some of the latest science about our dire predicament. Right now, we are in the midst of the sixth mass extinction event in the history of planet Earth. All this is mostly because of the changes that have been happening in just the last 30 years. The changes in the last 30 years have been non-linear. So let's talk about the difference between linear and non-linear. Linear means steady, predictable changes. Changes that are just in a line. Nonlinear means unpredictable, even exponential changes. Changes like this. Here are some examples of nonlinear changes. Temperature rise. Temperature rise in the last 30 years has been nonlinear. We've had an exponential rise in temperatures. Carbon dioxide levels. Carbon dioxide levels in the last 30 years have grown exponentially. It's been nonlinear. Carbon dioxide emissions. Carbon dioxide emissions over the last 30 years have grown exponentially. The melting of Arctic sea ice. In the last 30 years, 75% of the total volume of Arctic sea ice has melted. So not 5% of the ice, not 10%. If 10% of the ice is melting, that would be bad. No, 75% of the total volume of Arctic sea ice has already melted. It's a catastrophe. 
nonlinear melt of Arctic sea ice. Okay, so what does this all mean? When you're looking at all these graphics, two things should become perfectly clear. The first thing is that politics as usual is not going to get us out of this mess, right? It didn't matter who was in office the last 30 years. There's been zero meaningful changes. It just keeps going up, right? The second thing is that the sustainability movement is a catastrophic failure. Environmentalism, catastrophic failure. Going green, catastrophic failure. Apparently, climate marches, petitions, donating to this, that, or the other foundation, protesting as usual, is not working. We're talking about the destruction of America, remember? So maybe we should try something new. We need a new approach. We need system change. So how is system change created? A review of history will show that if you want to change the direction of society in the shortest amount of time, there's one way to do it. And that way is mass participation, nonviolent, civil disobedience. What is mass participation, nonviolent, civil disobedience? Nonviolent, civil disobedience means disruption and sacrifice. No one likes to talk about sacrifice, but the truth is millions of Americans have sacrificed their liberties and ultimately their lives for our common good. They died for us. That's their legacy so that we could live in an America that was semi-decent. Because if you want to live in a society that is semi-decent, then sometimes you got to step up. That's why this September, XR Oakland is doing a sacrificial action in the heart of San Francisco. We are going to sit in the road, blocking traffic, until we are carried to jail. We will do this every day possible until demands are met. There are still spots available for people to participate in this action. You don't have to be arrested with us. In fact, most of the spots still available will be in support of the action. Being a support means that you will not be getting arrested. You'll be supporting us by doing things like getting footage of the action, live streaming the action to social media, or helping to create signs or other creative things in art. Please share this with anyone who can be in San Francisco on or after September 23rd. Thanks.